everybody, welcome back to Drug Talk. As always, I'm your host, Kara Campbell. In today's video, we're going to be talking about a medication known as PEG Interferon Alpha 2A. Its brand name is Pegasus. And before I talk about this medication uh, itself, just keep in mind that this channel is for information purposes only and not to be used as a source for recommendations for your personal health care. Now, during this presentation, we'll discuss the mechanism of action or how this medication works, indications or reasons we would prescribe this medication to a patient, followed by contraindications or reasons we would not be able to prescribe this medication to a patient. We'll then touch on an example of dosing and then finish it off with side effects with percentages. I've put together some slides to go over this information. Let's jump right into it. So the first thing to discuss here would be the mechanism of action or how this medication works. So PEG interferon alpha 2A is a covalent conjugate of recombinant alpha 2A interferon. It is the biologically active component. It binds to human type 1 interferon receptor and induces the innate antiviral immune response. In terms of indications or reasons we would prescribe this medication to a patient, well, we may see this medication used in the treatment of active type B viral hepatitis in cases when it's chronic. We may also see it used in the treatment of chronic hepatitis C, either in combination with other hepatitis C antiviral drugs, or as monotherapy in patients with compensated liver disease. With respect to contraindications or reasons we would not be able to prescribe alpha interferon 2A, we would give this medication to, to a patient who had a hypersensitivity reaction to other alpha uh, interferons in the past. We wouldn't give this medication to patients with autoimmune hepatitis or hepatic decompensation in cirrhotic patients before treatment. Neonates and infants would not be able to use this medication. And also patients who are pregnant uh, would not be able to use this medication with ribavirin. Now for an example of dosing with this medication, so in the treatment of chronic hepatitis C as adjunct, in patients with compensated liver disease, we may see 180 micrograms given subcutaneously once a week. The duration of therapy would be 48 weeks if it was in combination with ribavirin only, and dosing may depend on the genotype of the patient. As with all medications, there are some side effects or adverse reactions that patients may experience while using this medication, so we'll go over some of those here now. Alopecia may happen 18 to 28% of the time, while dermatitis comes in at 8 to 16%. 4 to 10% of patients may experience dry skin, and about 22% of patients may experience an injection site reaction. A rash may occur 5 to 15% of the time, and 4 to 16% of patients may experience decreased weight. Abdominal pain comes in at 8 to 17%, and diarrhea at 11 to 16%. Arthralgia or joint pain may happen to 25% of individuals on this medication, and dizziness may occur at a rate of 6% to 16%. 19 to 30% of patients may experience insomnia, and a cough may happen 4 to 15% of the time. Fatigue comes in at 8 to 24%, and finally fever at 37 to 54%. Keep in mind that these are not all of the side effects for this medication, but I thought I would um, share some of the common ones in this case. Now, some more serious med uh, side effects would be a myocardial infarction or heart attack, supraventricular arrhythmia, or skin irritation. All right, everybody, that's all we're going to talk about today with PEG interferon alpha 2A, or Pegasus. As always, I'm very thankful you took the time to come by and watch my videos. If you found the information valuable and you'd like to help grow this channel, remember you can like the videos, share the videos, or most importantly, subscribe to the YouTube channel. And there's also some links in the description you can check out as well. So for today, take care.